In this lesson, we are going to cover some of the properties of difference and complement operation. The first property is a union, a complement is equal to universal set. Let's see why is that so. This is the universal set and A is obviously a subset of the universal set. That means A will be inside of universal set. Now, the A complement is everything except this A. That means A union, A complement includes both of this section and this section which is nothing but the universal set and this is why a union a complement is the universal set suppose a is a set of one two three and the elements of universal set is one two three four five six then a complement is a set of those elements which are not in A. Therefore, A complement is a set of 4, 5, 6. If we do union between A and A complement, we are getting the universal set back. The next property is the complement of complement of A is A. Let's use the Venn diagram to understand what is it. This is the universal set and this is the A. Then without any doubt, the rest of the elements are A complement. So this section is A complement. Now, if we take complement of A complement, we will get elements which are not here. That means elements which are here, which is nothing but the A. This is why complement of complement of A is the A itself. Suppose A is a set of 1, 2, 3, and the elements of universal set are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then A complement is a set of 4, 5, 6. If we take complement of this complement, that means the elements will be the elements which are in the universal set but not here. Therefore, complement of complement of A is a set of 1, 2, 3, which is nothing but the A itself. The next property is the complement of universal set is empty set. This is obvious. The universal set is a set that includes everything. Then complement of universal set is definitely empty set that includes nothing. In Venn diagram, this is universal set. It includes everything. If we take complement of it, that means there is nothing. And nothing means empty set. The opposite of this phenomenon is also valid. If we take the complement of empty set, then it will be the universal set. The next property we are going to talk about is a difference B is equal to A intersection B complement. Let's examine the property using Venn diagram. This is the universal set. Without any doubt, both A and B are subset of universal set. A difference B means elements of A which are not in B. That means this section. Let's have another universal set and this is B. Then B complement means everything except B. This everything includes A. 
The intersection operation keeps the common elements only. Here, this section is common to both B complement and A, and it is nothing but A difference B. This is why A difference B is equal to A intersection B complement. Suppose A is a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, and B is a set of 3, 4, 5, 6. And the elements of universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then A difference B is a set of 1, 2, and B complement is a set of 1, 2. Let's take the intersection between A and B complement. It is the intersection between set of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2. The common elements are 1, 2. That means A difference B is equal to A intersection complement of B. Alright, that's all for this lesson and I'll see you all in the next lesson.